Top 10 reasons now to go see the new movie Bruno. And here, presenting tonight's top 10 list from the new film Bruno, please welcome Bruno. Ladies and gentlemen. Put, put that back in my closet when you're done with it. Hey, hey. Huh? Hey. Top ten reasons to go see the new movie Bruno. Here we go, number ten. It's like Transformers, but not as gay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really? Wow. Not as gay. Not, not as gay, gay apparently. Yeah. Not as gay. Uh, number nine. Features lots of suggestive words like bratwurst and schnitzel. <laughs> Top ten reasons to go see the new movie Bruno, number eight. N number, number eight, Bruno. I'm, I'm sorry, I got distracted by how delicious I look. Nice. Yeah. All right, let's move on then. Number seven. If you ask nicely, the guys behind the candy counter will rub the chemical butter all over your buttocks. That's, uh, that's a reason to go see the movie. Uh, number six. Don't you want to see a crazy gay Austrian who isn't the governor of California. <laughs> I don't think that's... Uh, first, first Alaska, now California. We're working our way, oh. working our way down the West Coast. Uh, number five. It's rated F for fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Oh. Number four. Oh. I do a lot of this. Uh oh. <laughs> Boy, are we selling tickets now or what? Uh, number two. Harry Potter isn't the only movie character who's good with his wand. Yeah. <laughs> nice job. I'm sorry, that was my mistake. No, that was number three. Number three, if you're scoring at home. Number two. Bruno is a flamboyantly gay entertainer who makes people uncomfortable, like David Letterman. <laughs> and the number one reason to go see the new movie, Bruno. Hello, I'm in it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Look at the movie.